Welcome. In this video, I'll cover five questions and answers about Toast 20 that you've dropped into my comments. The whole premise of this channel is for me to answer tech questions that you bring. So if you have any tech questions, drop them in the comments. Let's get started. Question one, is it possible to create a slideshow with music using Toast? The short answer to that question is no, it's not possible to do that. However, if you do have a video file that is a slideshow with music, you can use Toast to take that video and put it onto a DVD in a format that'll play back on practically every DVD player in the world. What exactly is Toast good for? Let's jump in and let me show you how it works. This is Toast 20 Titanium. And as you can see here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six different areas within Toast. It can do six different things. The first is it can burn. It can take files that you have on your computer and burn them in a variety of formats into like a DVD, like the kind that I described that'll play back on anything. It can also do audio discs. There's all kinds of stuff it can do with regard to taking files that you have on your computer, putting them on a disc. The second thing it can do is it can copy discs. That's whether it's a DVD or a CD, you can duplicate that disc, although this may not transfer to commercial discs, which are a whole different thing, and we can talk about in a different video if you'd like. The third thing it can do is it can convert. So it can take one kind of file and transform it into a different kind of file. Next thing it can do is it can capture either the screen or it can capture sounds from the computer and allow you to store those as files. Next thing is it can do a little bit of editing. And then the last thing it can do is it can make encrypted discs. Let's look at the next question. Question number two, would you say something about the quality of the video output? So as I mentioned just a moment ago, you can use Toast to create DVDs based on files that you have on your computer. So if you have a video file already, you can take that and put that on a disc. And I'm gonna show you, there are a few different formats that are possible. So not long ago, I made a video that showed you how to take a file on your computer and put it onto a disc that'll play back on practically everything. As you can see here in Toast, the format that we used for that was DVD. This is a standard standard definition format. So if you have a video in 1080p or 4K, and when you follow the steps that I described in that video I mentioned, what you're doing is you're reducing the quality of your video so that it'll fit into this standard DVD format. And by doing that, you're trading all of that quality for compatibility so that it'll play back in practically any DVD player around the world. If you wanted to create a higher definition DVD, you would have to choose a different format other than this right here in the menu. So if I click here, I'll see there's another format of AVCHD, the HD standing for high definition, which is a higher definition video format. If you choose this format, you can have a higher definition video. However, you're not going to be as compatible. So you'll find that some DVD players will not play in this format. The other option that you have here is BDMV, BD standing for Blu-ray disc. If you choose this format, you'll need to have a Blu-ray DVD burner as well as Blu-ray discs in order for them to play back. As you choose higher definition formats, you're trading quality for compatibility. This is Toast 20 Titanium, which means I don't have the plugin necessary for me to burn in this high definition format. If I click learn more, this will take me to the Toast website on Roxio. And for 10 US dollars, I can download the plugin and give myself the ability to burn discs in this higher quality format. Let's take a look at the next question. Question number three, is it possible to make a video, the menu background? And the answer is yes, you can totally do that. If we jump back into Toast, you'll see here, I'm already selected on burning a DVD and I have one of the templates automatically chosen. If I click play, I'll see that the background of this is a video. Now, the question is, can I take one of my own videos and do that? So I'm gonna click here on design new template. You'll see that I've got a blank design selected. I can click here if I want to base this new DVD menu on one of the built-in templates, but we'll leave it blank for now just so you can see how this works. So over here on the right, the second from the end looks like a shaded square. If we click on that, that'll let us edit the background. And you'll see that I can either add a video or photo as a background. If I click this plus, this will allow me to pick a picture or a video. I'll choose a video just so you can see what this does. We'll choose this one. I'll click open. It's gonna tell me that there's a problem because my video doesn't have a sound. That's okay, I'm gonna click okay. And now I see here that my video is showing just fine. So it is possible to put a video as a background in a similar way. It's also possible to take a picture and set the picture as a background too. 
Question four, how do I select a 16 by nine or four by three aspect ratio? For the video files that you put into your DVD menus, Toast is supposed to determine whether the aspect ratio is widescreen 16 by nine or four by three automatically. 16 by nine is an aspect ratio similar to what you see on YouTube videos. Four by three is the square aspect ratio that many standard televisions used to use long ago. Here in the burn area of Toast, all of these templates that appear here by default are 16 by nine aspect ratio. So if you're planning on using a square video, four by three, I'd recommend coming here and clicking switch to classic, which unlocks all of the older four by three aspect ratio menus. Then I would choose the appropriate menu that I want and take your four by three video and drag it and drop it in the main area. That way, when you burn your disc, both your DVD menu and your video are in the same aspect ratio. If you'd like to go back to the 16 by nine view, click this button here for switch to update it. Question five, does Toast recognize chapters embedded in a QuickTime MP4 file? The answer to this question is yes. So if we jump back into Toast, you can see here I've got a blank DVD menu that I'm building out. I have a video over here that I've created for this YouTube channel and let me go ahead and open it. This video was created in Final Cut Pro and you'll see if I click here that it has chapters that are already built into it. If your Mac recognizes the chapters in the video file, you're in good shape. Whether you create your video using Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, or some other video editing app. As long as the bookmarks are recognized by the Mac, you're good. We're gonna take this video, we're gonna drag it and drop it into our DVD menu system. As you can see here, it inherits all of the built-in chapter marks automatically. And that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. This video has been questions that you brought to me and answers I brought to you. If you like this video, click like. If you have any tech questions, drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.